good morning. It's Friday morning. I'm making a scrambled tofu situation thing. I put the rest of my mushrooms I got the other day. I put some veggie bacon and a tofu scramble egg. And then I'm gonna put a piece of daya cheddar on it and I'm gonna put it on a piece of toast and that's my breakfast. And I'm having my coffee, which I love that one I got from Sprouts. It's the organic sunrise blend, it's so good. take a break from work for a second so I can go dry my hair. I'm freezing cold. It's only like 40 here today, so I need to go do that really quick. I sent out an email, so if you're on my email list, you should be getting an email from me, or you should have probably by the time you watch this. It was sent out Friday. Um, so yeah, and by the way, if you are not on my email list, you can go to traintrackfiberdesigns.com and there's a uh, sign up form down at the bottom. Just scroll all the way down and sign up. You get emails. Um, I don't send them out too often, maybe like once a month or so, but it's just talking about new stuff in the shop. And of course, anyone who has finished objects, if you want to send me a picture of them, then I'm happy to include them so you can kind of share your, you know, things that you've knit with yarn from my shop. And I, I like to send that around and show everyone. That's what I've been up to this morning and it is so cold. It's raining and it's cold and ah, it's just not, it's not a good day to be a person who likes it to be warm. So <laughs> poor little Bella is freezing. Oscar's freezing. Ah, it's cold. So anyways, um, I think I'm going to go dry my hair. my hair is. <laughs> it's so cold and I can't really wear a sweater because it's raining so hard outside. I don't want to ruin my clothes because the dogs are going to go out a bunch as you guys know. And Oscar has a bad habit of finding every spot of mud there ever has been. So whenever it's raining, even if it's really cold, I don't like to wear a sweater just because there's a really, really good chance that I'll get mud on it. But I can wear a hat, so I'm gonna look for a hat really quick. Um, I noticed the other day I was going to wear a hat with my gray sweater, my angles, and I don't have a gray hat. So I think I might take a little bit of time at some point along with all the other things I want to knit. <laughs> but I need to knit a gray hat. And what I think I might do is use the color that's in my ingles and then also use the color that's in my, um, what's the other one, Tecumseh. And that way I can have maybe like a gray hat that'll go with both of them and maybe kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. I kind of feel like I don't have a lot of hats. I only have, I'll show you what hats I have, hold on. So these are the hats that I have. So I have this one that I made last year that was an Amy Miller knit along. I have this one that's white. I have mittens that match that. I have a, what is this, a vintage prim? And I have another vintage prim. And those are all of my hand knit hats. So I need to make a gray one, I think. Like a solid gray. And I feel like, I mean, this one, even though I know it has a bright color on it, it's still pretty versatile. And obviously white is pretty versatile as well. So, I don't know. But I want to make a gray one. I know this has gray, but it has mostly black. So, that's the one I'm going to wear today. And I love this one. I wouldn't mind re-knitting that because I feel like you can't see my moose as well. I think this is called Beware of Moose, if you're interested. But I think I would like to knit it in maybe a more solid color background so you could see the moose a little bit better. I love that hat as well. Yay, I've got my hat on! So, I moved my plants up here. I hope they like it. There's all these big windows right here. So, I'm hoping that they like it.
I think they do. I think they would. I would like it if I was a plant because there's a lot of open space right here in windows. So it should give them a lot of sun. I've already had my cup of coffee this morning. I'm freezing, so I kind of want to make another cup of coffee. Even though I don't need it for the caffeine, I just want something warm because I got chilled. Yesterday I watched Christy Glass Knits the Rhineback Sweater episode or the Tell Me About Your Rhineback Sweater episode. I wanted to talk to you guys about that because I love watching that every year or the past, I guess she's done it three years now. I love watching that so much. It's so fun. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Just look for Christy Glass Knits and I think it's the most recent episode she has up. Um, is tell me about your Rhineback sweater and it's like two hours long. It's awesome. But I feel like so inspired after I watch that. I want to knit my Tecumseh. I want to finish it up. I want to finish up my texture time shawl so that I can start something else. Because whenever you watch that, you'll see there's so many awesome sweaters and the colors are just so inspiring to see everyone, how they've put their own twists on it and the colors they've used and stuff. There's so many of the same sweater, but they're all different. Hold on a minute, I've gotta pick this. There we go. But they're all different. All the sweaters are, even if it's the same pattern, like no two are alike. So it's fun, go check it out. Like I said, I just feel really inspired and I wanna knit something different. Um, the other thing I watched recently is Hey Sister podcast. And you guys probably watch them as two sisters and they have a yarn shop and they do a podcast or a vlog. And I can't remember the girl's names. I'm sorry. I'm not, I just found them about two months ago, which I know I'm like living under a rock apparently because there's a ton of episodes. Um, but I don't know their names, <laughs> but the blonde sister, she made a Veronica cardigan and I want to make a Veronica cardigan now. I'd seen it on Grocery Girls and I liked it, but I kind of forgot about it because I think Tracy, I think is the one. I think Tracy on the Grocery Girls podcast had made one about a year ago and I liked it, but then I kind of never thought about it again, I guess. But whenever I saw the blonde sister on Hey Sister had knit it, she was talking about wearing it with long sleeve tees. And I was thinking that'd be perfect for me because there's so many days that it's like in between temperatures and you know, I need kind of like a little light cardigan situation. I think it's actually, I don't know if it's DK weight. It's either DK or worsted. It's not a fingering weight thing at all, but it's still because the way the construction is, it's like um, short sleeved kind of cardigan situation and it's oversized and flowy. And I was thinking that'd be perfect because I do wear a lot of long sleeve tees in the winter because, you know, it's not too cold here. So I really want to make one of those soon. And I think I might do it in DK weight just because I think it would make it a little bit more versatile for me. I do have some worsted weight wool of the Andes. Um, I have like a whole bag of it all in one color. It's bamboo heather, which is kind of a dark green that I bought years and years and years ago to make something that never happened. So I do have that in a worsted weight if I want to use it, but I kind of think I'm going to do DK because I'm really digging the DK that I have in my shop. So I kind of think that I might do that possibly. Um, but yeah, basically I'm just so ready to get texture time off the needles so that I can work on my Tecumseh and get that off the needles and then start something else. So now I'm going to give you guys the update on my texture time shawl. So I have made it through row 99 row 99 and it's pretty early in the day well i think it's like three what time is it like 3 30 or so pretty early so i know i'll get to work on it for probably like three hours tonight or for the rest of the day whatever i'll get to work on it maybe like three more hours today so hopefully i can get through i don't know i don't know if i'll get this whole entire first section done or not first section, first half of section three, if that makes sense. First half of clue three. So I'm kind of hoping I can get that done tonight. I don't know that I will, cause like I said, I'm on like row 99 right now. So I have a little ways to go. And I think it's, hold on. I'm gonna try not to move the camera too much. Yeah, okay, so it's 154. So I have, what, 55 rows left. I might be able to bang that out tonight. I don't know, anyway. So, I'm ready to get that on the road so that I can 
finish Tecumseh and then start something else, which is probably gonna be Veronica because it seems like it'll be really quick. So maybe make that plan happen, hopefully. Um, yeah, but basically that is really all I have for you guys today. It's dreary and rainy and we have had to go outside a few times, you know, because the dogs have to go to the bathroom out there. And obviously, my hair is just looking amazing today from going in and out in all the rain. <laughs> but we're not doing anything else. Um, literally sitting here on the couch and basically that's it for the rest of the afternoon. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna do what I did last night and take a picture of my progress. Yeah, I'll take a picture of my progress at the end of the night and put it the the end of this um, so you guys can see the progress I made throughout the night it's so much fun doing this so I hope that the few people who've watched have enjoyed it because it's been a lot of fun for me and um, also it means a lot to me to have the footage of Oscar and Bella because as you guys may have heard me mention a few times Oscar has cancer so you know there's this is just memories that I'll have forever of them just be in, in my life like normal. So anyway, I've enjoyed this a lot. I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.